So this is part 5 for the Ryujin 3.5 tutorial. It's going to be a much shorter part. We're just going to focus on adding the shaping details to the tail and then that's it. Just a quick short tutorial. So this is what it looks like with the shaping details. You don't need to worry about this wee part. But that's basically it. And again it is pretty straightforward. I did this test full just to make sure that I know what to do, which I do now. That's the back side. And then that's this side. So I'll have a link to this crease pattern in the description so you can print it off and make them. So if you unfold it all, we only need to make this, 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 this. I think this wee bit here. And that's it. So you can see that we've got that will start off at the very bottom so it's easier. So here was me too. Starts off at the corner, goes across, comes up one unit. So it goes across one, two, three, then up one. So from here, one, two, three, then up one, which is right here. So, and then the valley fold, just down one. Don't know why there's a big tiny mark there. Hopefully it comes out. Or I can just tape another bit of paper over it to help cover it. Anyway, that's leave it much on this side. So when you make that mountain fold, you fold this one behind. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Now we go up from that point, we go up two, one, then one. So from here, it's up two. and then it's one then one Just like that. And you don't need to worry if they're not the right mountain fold or valley fold, you can click that once you've done it all. I'm just going to make them all mountain folds at the moment. Right, so this one comes up one, this one here. One, two, three, and one and a half. So. Here, one, two, three, one and a half, so right here. So 
again, count up. One, two, three, one and a half. Again, when I made this paper, it's got a wee extra thin layer on it, so I can easily hide that when I shape it, so don't need to worry about that. One, two, three, and a half, and right to the end, so that's fine. And now from here, one, two, three, then down one. So one, two, three, down one. So it's another half you need to make. Exact same on the top as well. One, two, three, then up one. So one, two, three, up one. Right here. down one to finish it off. So that's here. So just down one, that's there, and then here. One and a half. 
so one two one and a half so right here so just like that and this is where the point is where these lines stop so it's down one and a it's down half of one so it's always double check this is the very point here so down one and a half which it is and then the same up so one and a half not half and one this when I was pre-creasing at the very start I did it so much easier so just like that and then just finish off this line here so it's down one and then a half so from here down one then a half so we'll do it this way first. Like so. something like that. And you don't need to worry about this wee crease. And in fact we'll make it so it's only it's up about just a wee bit up from that one. So let's see. So it's a wee bit up, this is the Here, so it's about here. So I'm just going to rough guess it. So about that. It's not a perfectly straight line, but it doesn't really matter. These ones aren't exactly perfect on the grid, so we're just need to, as best you can, make them as close as possible to the piece pattern. So this one comes up one, two, and a half, and one, and a bit more than a half. So one, two, and a half, one, and a bit more than a half. So one, two, and a half, one, a wee bit more than a half, so about there. So again, look at it. One, two, and a half. One and a half. So it's done check one two and a half one and a wee bit more than a half probably and that's the final and then here it's basically coming up one but just a bit less than a half so, yep so one to about here. 
Right, that is the imprint of this crease. So if we make that, just a wee quick. See? Yeah, so do that. That's how you get accurate. Fold this down. And then make the mountain fold. That's quite hard to do actually. So I'll do it wrong. So I had to make it off camera just because it's too awkward to do it from this angle. But that's the line here. So it's basically half this, then it's just a wee bit over to the right of it. Now we can make this one. Then it's just this wee bit left. So from here, get across one, two, and then it's down one and a half and across one. So you need to open this up slightly. So here we are here, push this out, count across one, two, then it's down one and a half and across one, so here to here. Just like that. You may need to open the paper up just to make it easier. And then it's the exact same on the other side. So just like that. And then this crease comes down slightly more, comes down one, comes down half, then a wee tiny bit. So we'll make that. So it comes down half, then a wee tiny bit. Again, this is another crease you just need to roughly judge. So there's the half, and then there's the wee tiny bit. Then the same on this side. So just like that. Now we can make this one here and this one which is just down one diagonal then the same up. So we can make these two the now. So down one and then up one again. Should have done this when I was pre creasing. There we go. So try to make sure your lines are straight. That's better. So we've just made this one and this one. We've already got this one. Now, if you make a line from here to here, so this one is basically almost to the almost to the half and then it's straight down to this. So from here it's so I'll fold it I'll fold it in half just to show you easier. So here's the halfway. So it's from just short from it so about here down here. Up here, actually. 
I've done one picture. I'll do it anyway, I can fix it later on. So that's that. And then we're going to make a mountain fold from that point up to this point. straight up to this corner so do that from here to here and stop where the hits this line so that's the line that's where it ends so from here up to there The last case is just the imprint of it. As you can see, if it lines up with it when you make that. So you can make that the mountain fold and then just fold that bit to make that crease. Next we'll make this mountain fold and then just valley fold that. Oops. That's it, that is the shaping scales added, or the shaping creases for the tail. Nice, quick, and easy part five. Next, we'll collapse the head in part six. So, again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. So, the last part we're going to look at is the transition units. So, basically, you're making something like this this part right here and then when you fold it all together it lines up perfectly, it creates a gap it's hard to show, I'm it like that and then you'll do that for all these so easiest way to do this, there's two ways to do it so first of all make an 8x8 grid and then we're just going to replicate these pleats right here so take the second one, fold it over, and then this one, fold it over, so you've got this. Now this is the same as this, so the transition units happen one up, one unit up, or if you've got, if you've, if you've half this bottom part, then it's two units up. So in this case, we, we've half the bottom part. So it's two units up, this is where it's going to be, right here. So the first way you can do it is open up, fold up two, and then put the pleats back over. I can't do it this way because I've already collapsed it and I should have pre creased all these units right at the start. So I completely forgot about it. So once you've done that, turn it over. And then basically we're going to make point a line from here to here, so two units down. And then take this edge and line up with this edge. So like that. 
So this line runs parallel. This top one here runs parallel with this one. And then just pull the paper down. Like so. And then just crease it all. I wouldn't recommend this way because you're folding layers over on top of each other and there's a good chance that it won't be as accurate as the next way, which is the way I'm going to do it. So once you've done that, unfold it, turn it around, pull this down and you've got the creases you need. And then put it back in place, then make that the mountain fold. So open it up. Now, this becomes the valley fold, and the valley, and then from here to here is the mountain, and then here is the mountain, mountain, then valley. So try your best to make those. Again, making this valley fold here and here. So I'll just make the mountain fold first. Push in. Push out this part, push that part in, fold over, sometimes you may need to force it in place so as soon as you do that, this back part pops out, then just close it naturally down and there you go. And then we're going to do the exact same here, the way I do it, it's more accurate so open up and then we're going to make a line from here to here, here to here, here to here, and then the last one. This is the way I find the most accurate. It takes longer, but again, it's all about accuracy. You want this to be the best one you've made so far, or to look the best. So I definitely recommend doing this way. So you don't have these creases but not fully essential and then just turn it around and make these two the valley folds. And then put it back up and push in the bottom part roughly, fold up. Of course, take your time when you do it. I rushed it, but the thing is, with these, it doesn't matter if you rush it. You can't tell if it's done right or wrong, but it looks perfect on the outside, even though it's not perfectly done on the inside. So it doesn't really matter. But again, take your time. So when you're doing it this way, make sure you've got the tip like that. So all three edges are aligned. And then if it's not down enough, push it down a wee bit more until you've got it right. But this is the way I'm going to do it for my actual fold, not this way. And that's it. So you start off, this is the tail, so this will where the, where the first one will be. And then the second, and the third, and then all the way up. Until you get to the end. And then this exact same process, just continue all the way around until you get up to here. So you stop on this one, not this one because there's no more pleats. So this is the last one right here where the head begins and the neck twist. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.